What's up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, like I said, I was gonna come back on day seven and closer to the night, but uh, I found a mini horde, and I think it's time to try to rank up a little bit and try to take as many of these guys out because I don't want these guys chasing me when I'm trying to get. Dang, I dropped a new crossbow. So the zombies do uh, drop loot. I gotta watch my stamina. You don't want to rely on that heavy st swing too much. That heavy swing can cost you, that's for sure. Because I, I just looked down, I was like, oh crap, I'm at 11. Get out of here. Oh, I thought I got experience for that guy. No, I did. There's one still in the water. Back on the ground. Yeah, the best way to go for experience is definitely just killing zombies. Out of stamina. Watch out. You gotta watch out for that stuff. Dude, I already leveled up again. Holy crap. So zombies do drop loot, and but it seems like it's only rarely, I guess. But it did give us some good stuff. It gave us vitamins, and uh, and it gave us a compound crossbow. All right. So perks. I'm thinking we kind of. So I did max out both of these for now. I got to be level five on fortitude. And you don't get level 5 till level 20, or level 4 till level 20. Um, I thought about getting pain tolerance again. Reduce HP loss by 10%, 40% chance, a less chance of get to get stunned. But I was also looking in, I guess, was it minor 69 or increased power attack damage to blocks by 30%. So... I was thinking that this might be helpful. And we also have a pack mule. Let's go I think we'll focus on Oh, there. All right. I think we'll focus on that for now. Uh the encumbrance doesn't seem to be too big of a Oh, I missed that. Too big of a deal right now. All right. So now that that's taken care of, let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and get um, some stuff worked on because I need to start thinking about tonight. It's almost uh, twenty. Where let's see here, it's almost eighteen. I mean, so let's go ahead and start working on getting this place ready. Uh, first off, let's drop off any of our resources that we don't need. I actually have four of those now. Uh, might as well make some arrows out of it. Uh, would be under so iron arrows, all four of them. All right, so put those there, and then we'll go ahead and, and make the rest of our stone arrows. Oh crap, what is that? Dude, what was that noise? Was that thunder? Dude, 
that sounded like thunder earlier. Oh crap, that is thunder. It must be getting ready for tonight. <laughs> you know the funny thing is, there's a blood moon that comes out, and I looked over to my recording software to check on it, and there's a blood red moon on my wallpaper right now. It's for a comic get kill. I'm like, oh, ain't that fitting. <laughs> So we got all of our arrows crafted. So what we're gonna do, like I said earlier, is we're gonna take uh, frames and we're gonna build up to this house over here. We're gonna try to stay on the roof. We only got six frames, so let's go ahead and start building. Let's build another ten frames just to be on the safe side. That's not ten, that's fifty-eight. So we'll go ahead and get those started. eerie out right now so when it hits about 20 we'll go ahead and head over there that way we are uh, you know prepared because it's, it's gonna be crazy we're gonna hear them all over the place and I really don't want my house get destroyed so Thunder. You know, the thing is, there's not a cloud. In, well, there's clouds, but it's still somewhat sunny. Oh, the clouds actually move. It's kind of cool. All right. Yeah, it's starting to get that time. All right. So now that that's done, we're gonna have to decide what we want to uh, bring with us. All right, so wood, stone, keep those. We'll take these, put that up. Compound bow, these go in the other chest. All right, so out of this stuff here, we'll take our sniper rifle and our uh, 7.62. And that's going to be kind of our last resort. Um, the only other weapon we have that has decent amount, uh, not even decent, that's the only one we have that has a decent amount of ammo. So we'll keep that on us. You know what, let's uh, also have a flashlight. And then we'll take, I think we'll take our chicken rations and that stuff here. Actually, let's take the can of pasta. And then we'll take uh, our bottled water. That sounds like a good deal. So... We got a little bit of time, not much, but we've got maybe maybe five minutes, maybe I don't know. I'm I'm not very good. Dang that thunder! A little bit more wood. I'm guessing that this doesn't have a power attack. Hi guys, I'm getting nervous. Our first day seven, or multiple of seven anyway. I want to get this tree and then I want to get out of here. That's all right. Get rid of that, get those. 
Jesus. It's time to go. It's time. Not gonna lie, I'm getting kind of nervous. <laughs> All right, so dude, that timer seems to be going faster and faster now. Crap! If that's not eerie to you guys, I don't know what is. That's very eerie. There's my house. Good thing is, Lisa. Never mind, I can't say that anymore. <laughs> I was about to say, good thing is, there's no zombies around right now, so they'd have to spawn. So, but never mind, there is a zombie, probably on the inside of the house. Wonder if that will let us look in right there. <laughs> Mommy! Oh, dude. This is freaky. It's almost time. Uh, what was there? Yeah. Dude, they could actually, depending on how many zombies spawn in, they could take down this entire house. Hopefully not. Almost 21. At 22, it turns into crazy night mode. Crickets are chirping. I, they are chirping my ballet of doom. Cause I'm gonna die. I wonder if water. I wonder if water actually breaks your fall from height. Because if it does, then I c might be able to sprint off this roof in, in case something happens. But the only problem with water is that... Go away! The only problem with the water is that um, it can slow you down quite a bit. And they just walk through it, so it might not be a good idea. So I think if anything happens, we're screwed. Ooh, crap. Well, no, I mean, I guess we kind of have to leave our bed there. Lightning. Just as long as it's not as loud as, uh, or just as long as it's not, the thunder's not so loud, then we'll be okay. Because that, that actually caused me to jump. Like, ah! Attacked by the lightning beast. 22, uh, 21, 22. I know this part might not be so fun to watch, but, you know, what can I say? We took out, at least we took out that horde of zombies. That horde of zombies could have actually killed us if we had left them unchecked. They could have, uh, that was probably going to be the start of the uh, night. And since we killed them, it might take a while for more to spawn in, hopefully, anyway. What I've noticed, though, is once you clear out a house, they don't seem to spawn back in the house, which is pretty nice. Now, I don't, I'm not saying that's how it is the whole time, but we've only been into a couple houses. I've actually found quite a few houses down there, so we might go over there. Uh, after day seven, I need to make it over to that scrapyard. There's a lot of stuff there that we could loot. I'm just kind of worried about junkyard dogs. That That's my biggest fear with those. Come on, day, set, uh, night, get here already. Ooh, I hate that thunder. Thing is, if I turn my headset down any lower, then it's uh, muted. So, 
I hope it's not too loud for you guys. That would kind of suck. Dang, I was actually pretty close on the timestamp there. I was like five minutes till dark, and it's almost five. It's almost been five minutes. Oh crap, guys! All hell's about to break loose. One more minute. <sighs> Ooh. Nope, they're all coming in. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, it's, now it's getting pitch black. Like, dude, I can't see anything. You guys might be able to see a little bit. I don't know, but it's pitch black for me. Oh, crap, man. Oh. I built up those walls to help protect me, but I don't know if they can. <laughs> oh, God, stop with the thunder. <laughs> stop with the thunder, please. Oh, they're all over there. They're all below me. I'm kind of tempted to break th into this roof a little bit, but I'm worried that the zombies will or that it fall through the roof. Sorry if you guys can't see, I'm just reloading. It was a good idea to bring this flashlight because I can't see anything. Crawler! Ooh. They're definitely tearing up the house, but I don't it doesn't sound like there's a whole lot right now. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of freaky, but my nerves have kind of died a little bit. That's not a break, is it? No, it's just part of the texture. My nerves are coming back a little bit because it doesn't sound like they can actually, or it doesn't sound like there's that many. Now, the first night is always pretty easy, I would, I, I would say. The biggest problem with them is the just the, the zombies that come in. Like once you kill one, they they immediately spawn back. So it's kind of a nuts. But um, the biggest problem though is the more you survive, the later you survive. So say if it was day say 14, you would have like uh, I think they start throwing in dogs, and then day uh, 21 comes, and I think they start throwing in cop zombies. And then so on and so forth. So I, by the time you reach day 48, or, uh, or I mean not 48, 49, I mean, then you've got everything under the sun. Like zombie wasps, zombie bears, zombie, zombie everything, zombie palooza. Like, the zombies have come to town. Oh, thunder, thunder. I see the lightning flash, I'm like, oh. Prepare your eardrums for bleeding. Let's see. They must all be in the house right now. Alright, so what we'll do... Dude, I can't hardly see. Tearing up the entire house. Dude. There's not that many, honestly. I was kind of hoping that day seven would be a little bit scarier. Who am I kidding? No, this is perfect for me. Holy crap.
Dude, there's so many of them in this house. And you look at how fast they're tearing this place apart. Like I said, these guys could t possibly tear down this entire house. But that's all the zombies that spawned in. So I don't think they'll probably be tearing down the house anytime soon. But at least we picked this one. Like I said, that one that's over here, you can kind of see it, but it, that balcony or whatever, that loft, is directly connected to the roof. So all they'd have to do is break the roof blocks and they'd be on top. And I couldn't have that. My, my, my nerves can't have that. Dang, man, those guys are busy down there. Alright guys, so what we'll do is I'm going to survive the rest of the night up here on the roof. Like I said, I don't think they're going to be coming up here. Like I said uh, earlier, I picked this house because it didn't have a second floor. So they shouldn't be able to tear down the entire place. And it seems like they stay in one, they stay in the same corner that you are in, it seems like. So, if we stay, stay over here, then they shouldn't break the rest of the house. So, I'm going to stay here, and then as soon as they are, or the night is over, we'll come back, s assess the damage, and see what we can find. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.